What is up here is this is Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Fatal Frame Maiden of Blackwater Blind. In the last episode, the fourth drop, we found Haruka Momose only again to, to lose her at the end of that drop, unfortunately. And in this episode, in this drop, which I don't know exactly how long it's going to be, hopefully this episode isn't almost two hours long like the last one, though. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, we're going to find the Veiled House as the Ben, and I don't really know what that's going to entail. Seems like, from the writings he found at Ichiru Manor, Ren learns of a folklorist who lived on Mount Hikami. Ren sets out to the unfathomable forest to see if the rumors of a disappearing house are true. Interesting. And it looks like so we're going to be heading back to the unfathomable forest. We've already been there quite a few times thus far. Interesting. Okay, and so this is what we're starting off with. Alright. We can start our episode. And see what we find. Looks like one of those boxes with the black water inside. Certainly that doesn't seem like the best outlook for our heroes. <laughs> In the course of their investigation, Ren and Dui learn of Keiji Watarai, a folklorist who settled on Mount Hikami. His writings are certain to be a treasure of, or certain to be a treasure trove of information about the mountain and its peculiar folklore. Ren and Dui happen across a videotape that may just indicate the way to Watarai's residence. And so he's the person that was interested in the postmortem photography, right? I think so. As a brief aside while we have a moment, my physical copy of this game, uh, my pre-order from Japan, actually got cancelled the other day. I was so sad. I ordered it with like a pre-order bonus and everything, and my proxy just reached out to me and was like, Hey, we actually forgot to agree to the confirmation email for the pre-order, so we cancelled it. And I was like, No! <laughs> he took her own life, and we attempted suicide. The ghost of a shrine maiden appeared on both occasions. Yuri spoke of a black box that she found Haruka trapped in. Does the key to all these events lie in the mountain's dark past? Almost certainly. A folklorist Keiji Watarai used to live there. His notes may shed some light on this mystery. The videotape Urui found is on the desk. It seems to be related to that folklorist. I should take a look at it. Sounds like a plan. But first, we're going to take a look at everything else in the room. And see what else we can find. Is there anything of interest? Or is it all just stuff on that desk? Seems like it. There's a videotape and some notes on the desk. They seem related to Mount Hikami. I love these cutscenes. The sound said, like, come over here, please. Oh. 
本がいっぱいあります。こんな本です難しそう登りますはいこんな風になってます。It's a written report in Rui's handwriting, along with commentary on the video. I love those cutscenes so much. They're done so well. And you'll notice that a lot of times I get really quiet so you guys can get you know, fully immersed in them. Uh, you know, commentary in these types of games is both、uh, is a double edged sword, right? Sometimes it can be used to kind of, as the, one of the viewers,、uh, dissociate from the immersion of the experience a little bit. The commentary can drag you out a little bit, maybe keep things a little bit lighthearted, etc., make you feel like you're not alone. Um, which can be both a good thing and a bad thing, depending on what you're looking for. But in those truly, I guess, more eerie, creepy moments, I, I like to kind of step out a little bit and immerse myself even a bit too. Anyways,、um, let's see what Rui had to say about this. The diary found at the old inn mentioned a folklorist who lived on Mount Hikami. I found more information on him, including his name, in books on the occult. This folklorist, Keiji Watarai, went to the mountain due to his obsession with the mysteries of the, of the sect living there. Um, he then went missing, as mentioned in the diary, and rumors about what happened to him abound. They say that he didn't just die or go missing, but rather he stumbled on something the mountain wanted kept hidden, and so his entire house was swallowed up by the mist. This is the origin of one of Mount Hikami's more recent stories of a haunted house. While the veracity of this is unclear, I looked into a videotape left behind by someone who stumbled across the house. The video is apparently famous in occult circles. I contacted the publisher and received the following response Dear Rui Kagamiya, thank you for contacting us. The video you were looking for is no longer in print, but there are some copies in our warehouse. This video prompted a huge amount of feedback from customers. The tape was found near a river on Mount Hikami. It is unknown who filmed it. There were many sections too damaged by water to be usable, and so we took what was left and edited it together. The master copy of the video was confiscated by the police. They conducted a search of the mountain. We're unable to find who shot the film or even the house's location. Now that entering the unfathomable forest is prohibited, we advise you not look into this on your own. Koji Kakimoto, Suigensha Film Division. I believe the building visible at the start of the video is the Shrine of Dolls. Yeah, that's what I recognize as well. And then even that underground sort of tunnel where we found Haruka, right? After that, we see what seems to be a cave, but it's hard to make anything out. From the large number of books seen in the house, it's likely that it really is the former home of Keiji Wakarai. <gasps> the phone. The phone will ring,、What、and nobody will be there. <laughs> That looks like the disappearing house. Nah, <laughs> Can't imagine we'll be seeing Kazuya again. <laughs> the Veiled House. 
From the Shrine of Dolls into a cave, this may be the same route Yudi took. I should start by going there. I agree. We will leave the room after we pick this up. Nui's Journal 2. These look like notes of Nui's. Maybe she dropped them. I wonder if it's okay to read this. Mr. Ojo often cries out in his sleep. He won't tell me much, but it seems like he has a recurring dream about a ceremony from his childhood. As a young boy, Mr. Hojo said he spent his summer with relatives at the base of Mount Kagiroi. He's mentioned playing in an old house and in a shrine on the mountain, in some kind of festival he went to. Mr. Ojo doesn't talk about his past much, so what he has told me I remember clearly. Is he dreaming of that ceremony? I went to festivals as a child, but all I remember is having a good time. It doesn't sound like the festival Mr. Hojo dreams about is any fun. He often cries, don't look at me, in his sleep. He's always had a hard time with people staring at him. He especially dislikes it when women look at him for too long. He won't even look Miss Kurosawa or Miss Kozukata in the eye sometimes. He doesn't have that issue with me, though. Are the women he's dreaming about really that frightening? Interesting. And then also, it, it might not be a big thing. But at least for me, it reminds me of that guy who murdered all of those maidens on the mountain, right? Something about the look in their eyes. Interesting. Maybe I'll also find out some more about that, or find out some more about the postmortem photograph. Yeah, hopefully. Okay. Luckily, they already sent us over here. Alright, so naturally, you guys know the drill, right? So we are going to be able to go into the shrine doll, or the doll shrine, and then underground. However, I think I'm going to do a little loop and explore for any items over this way. Oh, well I guess that's not really an option over there. We can try over here. Nope. Okay. Then I guess we'll head on over this way. And see what we find. Anything interesting? Doesn't seem like it's so far. Countless dolls are lined up. Oh, I should, before I forget, I should try to upgrade Ven's camera. Um, upgrades, enhancements. That's what I'm looking for. So... Again, the loading speed is probably what I'm most interested in, just kind of at baseline. I still have a pretty hefty number of points, honestly. We can increase damage. Slows the enemy down whilst taking photos using the four continuous photos feature. That's actually pretty cool. I like that, but I think for now I'm just going to go with output and loader. I've got plenty of points. I generally try, I always am like, ending, I end up saving quite a few of points, so I always have a hefty amount should I want to use a particular upgrade at a given time. I don't know if that's a very common play style or not, but... Let's see if we can actually get in here. Looks like we can. Lovely. I don't see as many dolls as before. I wonder if we're going to be able to explore the whole building. It seems like it to an extent. But I'm not seeing a lot of the same items we found before. Is this where I was supposed to go? No, don't drag me away! Not again. I knew it. It's gonna be the white haired girl. お兄ちゃん。お兄ちゃんは
たの人形にいえあなた自身が人形にになるの I don't like this idea Tell me, you do he's gone or captured or dead, even? <laughs> what was that? Ruby, where did you go? Aw, oh, man. Come on, Ruby. Number of dolls are lined up. Okay. Naturally, I mean, we can try to see if we can go over there, but first I just want to take a quick little look around the room. Hmm. Am I allowed to leave through here as well? Probably not. Oh, I am. Interesting. Because I didn't quite fully explore the area. Is it still... Full of water down there? It is. Maybe I'll hold off on that for the moment. I mean, by now you guys probably are not surprised that I'm trying to explore every nook and cranny I can before progressing the, the little story segments. I didn't see any items in here. I still don't, but just to be safe. Oh, I can open this. I don't think I was able to before. Was I? No, I was. Okay. This is probably not where I need to go. But I am curious. Will I make my way here eventually? I don't know. Hmm. I can see the white face of a large doll behind the blinds. That must be the main shrine. I wonder if there are certain documents, like the Doll Shrine 2 document, that can be found at different times. You know what I mean? Uh, meaning, like, in this episode, I could find one that I missed in an earlier drop. That would be pretty cool. I just realized, are they called drops because of, like, drops of water? Or for some other reason? I don't know. But also, it's worth noting, I haven't really found any items yet. Despite this exploration. Might be a little bit of like a gameplay cue to say, hey, there's probably no need to be as thorough at the moment about exploring all these different areas looking for items. Oh, shoot. Well, I missed that one. But I, when I, that, that spooked me. When I turned the corner though, Aw, oh, man, I'm kind of bummed. But I didn't even see an icon, like the circle for that ghost. Oh, well, I guess. Shrine of Dolls 4. No, we missed two and we're never going to get it. There's a soiled notebook lying in the hallway. It made me belong to a priest who lived here. Today's dream was stifling. It was night, and several men carrying burning flames spent a long time exploring the area underneath the main shrine. They carried a huge reliquary underground, burying it where no one would ever find it. That white-haired girl was sleeping inside the box. She was waiting for someone, but it wasn't me. I didn't have what she wanted. At least, I felt like I didn't. I remember feeling so incredibly sad when I woke up. Huh. That white-haired girl, she's obviously... So she's waiting for someone... Something... For some purpose, and we don't really know why. Yet, at least. Trying to stay oriented here. Let's explore this other area first, I guess. Anything in the drawers this time? Some herbal medicine. Alright, that works. 
And then, that's right, I believe this was a dead end. Up. Oh. Down. Yeah. What is... What is that? Oh! No, 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 no! Did I get it? Okay, I got it. <laughs> I was wondering what I was trying to photograph, and I was like, huh? Anyways. Can I pick this up now? Or There's a hole in the floor, I can see the ground beneath. What was the point of taking that photo? A little confused, obviously. But, alright. We'll, uh, we'll roll with it. Presumably something I need to do at some point, so Like I said, we'll just uh, we'll, we'll go with it Oops. Ghost where are you at? Yes, no, maybe I guess not Over this way, maybe, or... Hmm. Let's see if I can actually head out this way and do anything. Something down here. Some herbal medicine? Looks like it. Alright. Anything else of interest out this way? Can I proceed? Nope, looks like this is the end of the road. Alright, well, we found the Shrine of Dolls 4, and unfortunately I missed that ghost. Again, the completionist inside me is, uh, fuming, but we'll live. Hopefully, at least. Anything interesting in here? I think this is a closet, right? Nope. This is what leads to downstairs. Right. I could go to the right, could I? Or... Eh, we'll go down here. What could possibly go wrong? Gotta explore. Oh man, it's dark. I, I messed around with my TV settings again. I'm still working on the whole contrast and, and brightness and stuff. But really, outside the flashlight, it is... it is dark. There's a document, which is nice. We'll probably get ambushed here as well, but... We'll see what we can find. Can't see. There we go. Shrine of Dolls 2! Yes! We found it, guys! There's a soiled notebook lying in the hallway. Maybe it belonged to a priest who lived here. The children are playing. Sometimes I wake up at night feeling their presence. The following morning, dolls that I know I've put away have moved someplace else. The more this happens, the more clearly I hear the sounds of playing, and the more often I have dreams where I'm there among the children, playing with them. I can't make out the children clearly, but I think my late daughter is one of them. Last night it felt like I was being watched. I woke to find a white-haired girl staring at me. She said, don't worry, your daughter is playing with the doll you fixed. After that, she disappeared. Those eyes, it's like she could see everything. She even seemed to answer the very question that was on my mind. Interesting. Also interesting because, again, just drawing parallels to before, the guy who, you know, burnt, was carrying the, the fire and murdered all those maidens, he also was saying, like, don't look at me, you can see everything, right? There's got to be some... There's something there. I don't know what it is yet, but we're on to it. Some sacred water... Nice, nice. Anything in this corner over here? Don't think so, but we'll take a look just to be safe. Ooh, there's something over here too. Some film? Looks like it. Type Zero film! Dang! The good stuff. Which way do we want to go? Left, I think? Let's see if we're attacked. Not yet. Much to my surprise. A mirror stone? Dang. Again, the, the Type Zero film plus a mirror stone. They're really setting us up with a bunch of good items. I wonder if we come back here later on in the chapter and this is where we'll fight some big boss or something. 
I don't know. Either way, they're definitely setting us up for success, I hope. And just like that, we're here again. And so this should take us back to the doll shrine. I think. Or wait, no. It's the other one, isn't it? Yeah, it's this one. I don't know if you guys have ever played the game Erica, but the plot of this somewhat reminds me... Actually, oh, I want to check this little dead end first before we go underneath there. Um, but the idea of having the same dream each night and then waking up feeling like it's more and more real progressively and you're gaining more of the details, you feel like you're actually there, that sort of experience reminds me of, well, a phenomenon from Erica that I won't spoil, but I guess I wonder if the person who's writing those notes is actually experiencing those things at night, right? Is in some sort of trance-like, in-between, awake and asleep state, playing with the ghosts and the kids, and it feels like a dream because of how surreal the experience is, and that it just doesn't line up with reality, but because the experience becomes more and more vivid and feels real, maybe it actually is happening and he's just becoming more and more aware of how real it is because of how real it feels. There are stairs leading underground below the doll display. I might be able to reach this womb cavern through here, but first I have to find Bui. Oh. Interesting. So, that's not where I'm supposed to go. I'm supposed to find Rui. Huh. Oh, I, I just realized I probably need to find that the effigy, right? I need to find the little doll thing. Great. All right, let's um, let's explore again. Where are we gonna find Rui? It makes me think it's that one place, right, where we were already looking. And I took that picture, but I didn't find anything, which is just odd. So I guess we'll head back over this way again, unless it's back out the entrance. I wouldn't expect that to be the case. Yeah. All right, then let's head on over back in this direction. Apologies for the redundancy, guys. But now I'll keep a more watchful eye out for the effigy. Hmm. I do think we were fairly thorough, though. small dolls are set on the doll stand. Many of them have been damaged. There we go. Oh, hello. Lovely. So, huh. I don't know it didn't even really give me much of an option to attack that ghost. I don't know, was that a ghost I could collect? Or what? I think I'm supposed to try to, like, expose all of these different ghosts in, like, hide-and-seek spots. I'm not 100%. It seems the sound, though. Yep. Yeah. Almost certainly in that closet. So first, we'll check this drawer. Alright, let's see what we can find. Hmm. 
Alright, we're gonna back up a little bit, give ourselves a little... Oh, I have to be in this room. Interesting. Am I... For real. Whew, that's meta. Oh, hello. Fleeing child, so we got one of those. I guess we got them all. I'll be right on over to the flooded sanctum. As soon as I can open this closet door again. Now what document do they drop, and how is it going to be helpful? Louis's notebook has fallen on the floor. Maybe it has some clues. Louis's journal 3. Mr. Ojo has started acting strangely. It's like his mind is completely elsewhere. This all started when he saw that photo. He's usually on the lazy side, but now he's obsessed with tracking down these photos. I have to go with him, if only to make sure he doesn't wander off willy-nilly. Would he put this much effort into searching for me if I went missing? I wonder. Aww. That didn't age well. If I use this as a token, I can follow the trace wherever Rui has been. Nice. Alright. Trace, help us out. Seems to continue through this door. Man, I really like the aesthetic of this game. Like the old dilapidated buildings, the you know Japanese context, and, and the dolls, and the forests, and a whole bunch of stuff going on. Is this where do we went? For some reason. Hmm. I can't I can't get far enough from it that I can actually take a picture of it. Do I need to do like multiple or what? Oh wait, what? I'm I'm defaulted to type 14 film. Just realized I've been wasting that. Louis seems to be okay. I have to find the way to the Veiled House. Yuri said there's an entrance to a cave below the doll display in the front shrine. Yeah, I mean, we'll head over there. As soon as I change back to my Type 7 film, why don't they just default me to that? That's what I've been using so much. That's such a bummer. Oh well, I, it should be the end of the world. How do we want to get back there? We can go this way. At least because we've explored everything else fairly thoroughly, we should be able to get back to where we need to go pretty quickly. Another double-edged sword I'm, I'm noticing is... Oh, what? Let me get... Let me snap a picture of you. Where did you go? That was so fast! What? Oh, hello. So we'll take a picture of you, hopefully get some spirit fragments going. Where are you at? It looked like you went behind me, but... I don't know. Are you just further back, or what? Do I need to take a picture of you? To make you appear? I guess I'm getting attacked? I don't know by what, though. Is Grizzly on my left? Well, this is awfully confusing. 
I mean, I'll take the Fatal Frame, I guess, but... No idea what's going on there. Aw, oh, what? And now he disappeared. How am I supposed to see where he is? Also, shout out to Dewey giving me those extra... extra bits. Like, where am I? Oh, there he is. So I can actually see him there, which is nice. Unlike the other times. Did we beat him? Seems like it. So we'll get the fatal glance, but that was that was weird. going on there. That was... That was intense. It's pretty dark. But, um, yeah, I don't know what was going on with that battle. It was like when I was out of camera mode, I could see him, but then I guess I couldn't while I was in camera mode. I mean, I tried looking 360 and trying to find him. Yeah, that was, um, not an ideal battle <laughs> by any means. I guess we'll, we'll probably still fare all right, but... Something was up. What? What's the relationship? Is she the girl that he killed? I guess we'll head on down, but some sort of keepsake that Ren didn't keep related to her? She's speaking to him like they have some sort of history, right? But anyways... creepy thing to say, do you? I can understand there's probably something in your history going on that makes it so you felt like maybe unwanted throughout your life or something like that, but what's with the whole, like, I've been wanting to be chosen, you know, that sort of thing? I don't... Hmm. Clearly something to unpack later on. 
So we probably won't find the house this way. It's probably in that other direction over here. Or maybe it's not. Maybe we do have to come on over this way. But I feel like I didn't actually explore all of this fully. So just to be safe. Okay, yeah, that's where we, we walked by there. Lovely. Then we'll head on over this way. But yeah, what's Louis' history? How did he and or how did she and Ren actually end up meeting? Right? Because I feel like and then probably somebody who just kind of like picked her up off the street at some point, and she's got a sort of nebulous history, right? That we're gonna slowly dig into and see how it's connected to probably more than one character in this story. Alright, let's see if we can find anything in these boxes. Hopefully not Haruka's body again. Because who knows where she went. Which ones have I already checked? Tough to tell. This is the one that we found Haruka in. Anything over in this one? Probably not, but... I just, I wonder, it was making the sound for a trace. Is there a trace to follow? There is. Whose trace is it, though? Watarai? The door is locked. The camera obscura is reacting to it. So one of the boxes, the one closest to that little wooden structure, it seems. Like over this way? I'm trying to recreate it, kind of. Hmm. Was it more over from this angle? I think so. I'm pretty sure it was this box. The lid is shut. Can I retake a picture of this? No, I guess not. That's a bit unfortunate. Baby, you weren't in the psychic photograph. Get out of there. Is it more like this? I mean, clearly I need to reproduce this photo, right? And that was definitely in the background, wasn't it? But I thought I saw all three of them in the photo. So, can I even do that? I don't think so, right? What if I... Try taking it from over here. No. I feel like this would have to be it. Is there a way I can check it? Hmm. Huh, this is an interesting photograph. But they just they just show this. They don't actually show the uh, the psychic photo, do they? This is pretty interesting, though. I haven't actually looked through a lot of my photographs. Maybe I guess I'll try some other angles. Something else I can maybe work with. I remember that one time we tried to do this for different psychic photograph. Not the one in Ichiru Manor. That one I thought worked pretty nicely. But another one of these was fairly finicky as well. So maybe I'll mess around with this for a minute and see what we're able to do. And if I'm having a lot of trouble, which, spoiler alert, it seems like I'm gonna, <laughs> it seems like that's gonna be the case. Maybe then, 
I'll just jump ahead to whenever that happens. Well, let me try inspecting these. What? That's what I had to do? Are you kidding me? It's one of it's also one of these like snake ones. Which is really annoying. Oh man. That was That was aggressive. Alright, let's see if we can get another spirit fragment. Actually, I'm just gonna wait for the fatal frame, because these things are aggressive. Where are you? Oh, it's gonna swoop in pretty fast, I'm sure. You come in? That was a pretty bad fatal frame, but... Interesting. You know what? It seems like... Aw, oh, what? That wasn't a, a shutter chance? It seems like how... Like, the time I get for the Fatal Frame is very much dependent on how much of that circle slash square is in the frame at the time they attack. Come on, I want to use my Rui strats. You coming? You coming? What? That was... Aw, oh, shoot. Run, I think I got it. Give me that fatal glance. What? Go, run, 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 run. Where's the ghost? Huh? Okay, I guess I, prob I probably just couldn't get a fatal glance for that one. The ghost dropped something when it disappeared. It looks like an old metal plate key. The iris plate key. Okay. So that was a little bit... Obtuse, in my opinion. <laughs> Having to check one of the boxes to get the other one to open despite taking a psychic photograph, which up until this point led me to believe that we needed to recreate a particular image, but that's alright. <laughs> the heavy lattice door is locked. An iris flower is engraved on the lock. You inserted the iris plate key into the lock. Looks like we found the veiled house. Also, oh my goodness, this fog. What do we have over here? Some film? Ooh, Type 61 film. Some good stuff. Anything over this way as well? No? Okay. Alright, then let's head into the veiled house in the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. <laughs> I talked in the last episode about how I'm going to try and keep these episodes a little bit shorter than the last one, and I'm not really sure how much of this drop is left or how into the Veiled House we get, uh, but I think this is a reasonable time to cut things off. We had some good hide-and-seek while we searched for Rui. We had a couple weird enemy encounters, but... You know, we're hanging in there. And of course, some good old exploration. Some plenty of good cutscenes, and I'm eager to see what's actually going on in this veiled house. Clearly, the person who created that video that we saw didn't meet a very fortunate fate. And hopefully, we'll avoid a similar fate. But until the next episode, this is Moon Knight Zero, and this mission is complete.